The Masked Avenger is officially an enemy of mine now and is on my enemies list. Really, Aaron? Who isn't on your enemies list? First it's the Titans, then it's the Marleyans, then it's Donald Trump. Though, to be fair, I'll agree with you on that one. Hell, I'll even agree to putting John on the list considering how he made us drink ten gallons of his cringe just now. Armin! Seriously! Let's do this. Welcome, uh, game developers, to Doug Develops, or Doug Develops, Doug Teaches UE4 mini tutorials. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna attack this damn Titan. Now, the thing is, you basically scaled it in game, not in its blueprint. So, does that mean you're gonna have to scale its blueprint? No. We can get away with something a little better than that. We can get away with something else. Uh, for starters, though, what we want is we're going to control B this. We're going to go into the random duder, right? Okay. So, uh, you can basically, let's, let's, uh, well, you know, because uh, we don't, uh, this was the AI by proxy. Oh, yeah, so that means we, we're going to have to use behavior trees. Are we going to use the behavior tree or something like that? Nah. We're not? No. Facts. Uh, yeah, let's make sure. Just give it the let's give it the AI controller by default, uh, and well, we'll keep this begin play because we don't technically need. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, let's go to its pawn sense and say radius. I'm fine with that. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's upgrade its its set radius to be that. Oh, for those who are wondering how to add pawn sensing, you just go to add components pawn sensing. And the only thing that I'm changing in this is its site radius. By default, your peripheral angle should be like, I think, 90. So you'd have complete 180 degree vision. I'm putting it at 45. So that way you can only have like that big of a cone. Uh, I'm okay with that. So let's compile that. Now, on C pawn. What we want to do is just AI move to. Okay, and the pawn is going to be what? We're going to pawn is going to be self. Uh, get a reference to self. Target actor is going to be get player character. And the destination will be get actor location. We're going to plug this in here. On fail, just delay for like 0.2 seconds and then. Just go back into it. And on success, once uh, um, its radius will be uh, 1,500. Within 1,500 within units. On success, I don't know, nothing. Because we don't have an attack animation or any of that shit for this uh, skeletal mesh. <clears throat> so, are we going to attack? So, we're just going to attack the Titan. The Titan won't do anything to us, but we will attack the Titan, yes. Uh, that being said, let's compile. Now, the way this is going to work is, uh, should I have that camera component? I'm going to make that camera component invisible. Where are you? Because, come on, don't tell me you fizz. Really? Fuck. You can't hide it? No. Fine, I'll just move it out for the time being. So this is how this, we're gonna, this, this is going to work. Essentially what we need to do is we need to attack the nape of the neck. How that will work is as follows. Uh, what we can do is we're going to need to fuck with this collision as well as the capsule component collision. Because both are set to block all. Now, we need to actually, like I said, we need to fuck with the collision. Because in order to, do, cause in order to get to the nape of the neck, uh, or hitboxes rather, we need to say... Um, we need to tell it how to actually do that. Is so we have we can we so we talk. How do we toggle this to like overlap? We don't. You know what? I actually have a better idea because we don't necessarily need to do that. We can just do that with him. Really? Yeah. Control B. Let's go to you. We're gonna go to capsule component is fine. Mesh. Let's. Yeah. Nah, I don't need to scale this. But what we can do is on you. Let's go to let's scroll down to its collision presets. Now we can go click on pawn, right? So 
here's the expl here's essentially we need to basically have access to that mesh because while we're attacking, we need to we can't have this capsule getting capsule component getting in our way. If we do, it's just going to straight up block, and we won't be able to do anything with that. Nor can we do something with this. With this, with the character mesh, we could we can just say over overlap all. Um, we could just do overlap all. We're fine with that. Why? Um, because then it doesn't matter if the mesh won't the mesh follow through the game world? Nope, because of the, the capsule component. Capsule component will need to uh, uh, customize this collision a bit. So let's go into custom, right? Mm -hmm. uh, on pawn, we can just overlap. So we'll just go through the the character essentially. Is that a good idea? Um, no, but like for our purposes, for the purposes of attacking the Titan, we're I just this is just the how to attack the Titan. That's all. We can just do the bells and whistles with the next video because again, I'm still gathering some 40k assets for the 40k series, which will kick off with squad-based AI. Oh yeah, everybody, please wish me a happy birthday. And the best way to do that is by commenting and uh, liking and subscribing. That would help the company out. Oh yeah, happy birthday, Doug. Yay, it's my birthday. I'm 35 today. Uh, is there anything else that we need to fuck with this collision? Not really, so we're golden with that. So, now we need to go back into Random Duder, and we need to attach a sphere collision. This sphere, this sphere collision will be attached, uh, attached, attached to the neck. Um, we can scan for the bone maim, but I'm not gonna fucking do that. Because we need to use hit, like, hitboxes are the best, uh, um, because we need to talk about hitboxes, and we'll do that another time. Anyway, sphere collision. Now, as you can see, it's attached, it, it's, it's on its feet, because that's the center line. So, but if we click on search here on the parent socket, I think you can just neck, neck one. That is a big hitbox. So we want to scale the sphere radius down to about there. And let's turn this snapping off so that way we can, so that way it doesn't snap. Okay. Now what we need to do, we're done here. What we need to do is go back into our third person character, go to our event track. Do I have an attack animation for this thing? I think you do. You should have one. Uh, no. Fuck. Yeah, I do have an attack. Let me see. Anim montage. Where do I set this thing? Oh, here. Oh, it's X. Okay. So it does the zombie dude attack. And... Yeah. Oh, right. We gotta modify this. Yeah, because it's attacking. Won't that stop your character movement entirely? Yes. So we need to go to... Uh, event tick. Oh, wait. Okay. I don't have... Uh... Stop. Movement. Good. So, I don't have to, I don't have to do that. Cool. Excellent. So, uh, essentially, okay, so, when we're attacking, right, and... Uh, that thing is huge, you know. Oh god, look at him. Why is it still blocking? He's talking about... The character is still blocking. The character is still being... Ah, oh, never mind. You're talking about the mesh. Yeah. Well, that's a character mesh. Look, okay, so, god damn it, okay, so the reason why it's, the mesh itself is blocking us is because it's still, it's still, um, I'll go back, because it's still a character mesh. It's blocking us because that's what the collision presets are all about. Like, like we're fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, sorry, yeah. Anyway, so what we want to do is we want to make sure, so, Let's get rid of is detected. We don't need that. Uh, yeah, we only want to do this once while is attacking. 
and he's attacking this as a false. So what we want to do is we want to go here, let's see, into our anim montage. Do you want to tell him how to do an anim montage? Uh, fine. To do an anim montage, you find an attack that you want to do, right? Uh, is no give me an attack. So let's say you want to do that, right? So it's zombie attack. You right click, create, and a create and create an anim montage. And then you just call it whatever. And in here you need to say, okay, on this notify, we we need to have Adam notifies to actually tell it when you can attack. Um, and that's about it. I mean, like. You want to know more, there, I did a melee combo tutorial, I'll link to it in the description, but like, there, there's more to it than just that, I'm, I'm just gonna streamline this for time. Um, seeing as how we have our stuff ready, what we can do is, let's go here, I'm gonna double check something with blueprint, enabled, okay good, I have hit time on and off, good, 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 alright, so we're cool then. On box, we want to, so our hit box, which is here, we want to make sure that, uh, let's go into the overlap event. If hit time is set to true, let's get rid of that detected, and let's get rid of you. So what we want to do is, on hit, while hit time is set to true, that means when we're attacking, we want it to do something. And we want to make sure, we want to get the box's world collision world collision, world location, and we want to get sphere, wait a minute, where is the random dude, because I have to recompile, yeah, it's, it's just called sphere, good, uh, so we want to get sphere, and we want to set, the, and we want to say equal, and we want to say equal vector, so we also need to get the world location of you. And as far as the radius is concerned, we have to get sphere radius. Boom. We branch this out. And then what we want to do is... We can still spawn... Yeah, we can get the actor location. Actually get actor transform. And we just say random dude or dead. Oh, spawn actor from class. I think it's called dude or dead. Yeah, it's called dude or dead. But we don't want it spawning as that dude. We want we still want to keep the relative we still want to keep the relative transform of this. So how do we do that? <coughs> what we can do is in here, we get relative uh, I think it's get actor scale yeah get actor scale 3d and on this return value set actor scale 3d and then the new scale is going to be that compile because this thing's huge because this thing is so huge Ah, oh, when it when it spawns, it'll be that big, essentially. So now, um, can I test this? We can. Um, I'm just gonna put move this back in. And, uh, I'm going to set this to be visible, so I can. Uh, where is visibility? Fine. You didn't. I don't want it to be hidden in game. I want to see this sphere so I can see what I'm working with. So now if we compile, so if we hit X, we're still moving. Well, yeah, that's because I don't I don't set it to stop moving altogether. Uh, there we go. Oh man, I gotta up, I gotta up the radius on the. Oh man, I gotta tone down the. I gotta tone down for what? Turn down for what? Um, I'm gonna go. Where is? Where do I hit the Q key? Okay, so let's up the radio still about like 
10k. And now, uh, let's go, I'm just going to say 1.2, tone down the speed. Alright, so we're going to be doing this. Why well, it was moving toward you? Yeah, it was, because it saw me, and there it sees me again. Shit. I don't think it's hitting the dude. Oh no, it's not hitting the duder. Why is it not hitting the duder? We'll find out why. Da, 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 da. If we hit anything. If blocking hit. Let's try if blocking hit. Let's see what happens. And now I'm overlapping the match. That's weird. Huh. Hmm. We should pause the video. Agreed. So, uh, you found it? Yeah, no, I, I found out what was going on. Okay, so let's go to a random duder. Alright, so in car uh the thing is, by default, right? The reason why this isn't uh, the reason why the line trace isn't hitting uh, the character, well, let me set this to ignore, um, is actually because the visibility on it, like, it's set to ignore. Line traces use something called visibility, and you want the mesh, so we're going to have to go into its collision presets and customize it. So when we see visibility, you want to take, you want to make it, make sure it's blocking. And then, uh, what, so... I might as well just do that other bell and whistle when when we pull the random duder to us. All right, yeah. So I'll I'll do that in a little bit. Um, but let's let's attack this titan. So now if we play, we hit Q. And look at that. We're we actually hooked the we're we're hooked to the titan. Oh God. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> so. Um, so if we hit Q again, and then hit Q. Speaking of, uh, should I do something about that? What, the rotation? Yeah. Because as it stands, uh, as it stands, the way it's rotating, I really don't like it. Uh, let's fix that too. I might as well do something about that. What do you mean? Uh, let's go to third person character. Where's the event tick? Unhooked. Hmm. Okay, so we get rotation. We find the lookout rotation when we do our hit location. Uh, instead, I'm just going to use the Z. Uh, get actor rotation. So let's break this struct pin and let's split this struct pin. X to the X, Y to the Y. I said split this struct pin. But the Z goes in here from the find lookout rotation. So that way, we don't necessarily rotate the way we're rotating. See what I mean? Now we're just, we're just, we're not like, so if I, ow, oh, you're not like looking down or whatever. Yeah, you're not, I'm not rotating downward. But you clipped into the ground. Yeah. Uh. Actor location. Um. Mm. We'll have to find a way. Yeah, we'll do that later. Right now, let's just uh, attack this Titan. How the hell are we gonna do that? Actually, mm. let's go to the third-person character. Let's go here. Let's check on the mesh. It's character mesh. So it does block. And you are set to pawn. Uh, that's fine. Uh, uh, so 
that's after location, something after location. Do we want to do that? Mm, if you don't want to stick to it, we don't have to. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of the sticking to it part for now. So that way we don't necessarily stick to the goddamn ground. Put the sticking back in. <laughs> My god. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, to be fair, we're attacking the Titan. This isn't, like, easy to do. So, Q. Let's hit X. I don't even know if I, uh, I was anywhere near the sphere radius. I don't think you were either. Yeah. Nope. But the Thunder Spear is there. Wait, is the. Wait a minute. Is it Z or is it Q to attack? What the fuck it was the attack button again? Shit. Oh, it is X. Okay, so actually, you know what? Let's go to. Okay, so the Thunder Spear. Um, let's say greater than or equal to 100. Okay, so. Uh, in the Thunder Spear, remember when we like uh, got the distance to like in terms of proximityness for the explosion? Right, right. Yeah. So let's go to the exploder itself, uh, and let's give it a sphere radius as well. A sphere collision. How big is this radial force? Two hundred. Okay, so this has to be two hundred as well. So then what we got to do is um, we're gonna delay this by like 0.2 seconds and then just destroy the actor once the explosion actually happens. Destroy actor. So what we can do is on the uh, on sphere overlap. Oh right, because you can just copy that entire right hand code. Yeah, the box itself. Let's view. So we can just get all the um just get the well, I just need this. This this, 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 and we copy it, and then we paste this into here. Boom, boom. Get the sphere, get the, the world location, branch this out, plug this in, douche, true through that, set the scale 3D. Oh, right, and we still have to destroy the actor afterward. Did you do that in that? I don't think you did that in the ham code. No, I didn't. So I gotta do that, too. Uh, let's compile this. And now let's go here. Let's random duder. Destroy actor. So now, we do this properly. Now I gotta aim for this thing. God, like, this is huge. Uh, ah. I don't know if I got it. I don't know if I got it. I don't think you did. No, I didn't. Ugh. Ugh. God. Okay, I'm in a good spot. Eh. Not C. What happened? What did you? All right, the cloaking one. Yeah. Fuck. Why is the material back to the mannequin? Because um, that's how I said it. Oh my god. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. X. Ah! Fuck! God, you really gotta aim for that. Yeah, you know, right? <laughs> Shit! Okay, so... X. X. Did it not hit? I don't know. God damn it. X. X. Um. Okay. Let's see if this actually runs. I'm going to print a string. 
saying hello because I'm pretty sure it's gonna explode her. I'll just say string, but this one will just say uh, hit. Okay, so let's see if this is actually running. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, it's running. So it is running, it's overlapping, and it is hitting. So what's the deal? Most likely it's the sphere radius. Hmm. Oh. So it is hitting, there's that. So how do we fix it? Try getting the bone name, I guess. Uh, random duder. What's the bone name on this thing again? Neck one, I think. Let's go to sphere. Parent actor. Neck underscore zero one. Okay. Uh, gets bone. Get bone name mesh. On, on return value is equal to name. Name is going to be neck underscore zero one. And um, probably mom. Oh, that's aim. Wishing me a happy birthday. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Bone name, and if it's hit time, boom, see that. On true, we're going to string, or print a string. Uh. Yeah, but that's nowhere near the neck, neck one. No, it isn't. God, you can see how, like, terribly fucking awful this is. Ugh. Okay. Ugh. Is there any way you can, like, I don't know, just climb it? Uh, climbing the Titan, that's a pain in the ass to do. Look at it! God damn it! Ugh! Yeah, you have to, have to, have to aim for this thing. Launched, yeah. Ugh. Good God. I'm just gonna put this back in here. And on top of that, um, let's go. Let's go to the random duder. And let's make this thing even. Let's make the sphere radius bigger. Are you sure that's a good idea? No. Because then the sphere is gonna be fucking massive. But it doesn't matter. It's like this thing needs to like happen. You need to kill this titan. Okay, so I'm in the sphere. Mm. Hold on. Yeah. That's how you do it. Try this again because I know I'm in the sphere. And I know it works because literally I just did it with this dude. See? Is 
Is it because the character's too big? You think it's that? Yeah, I know I'm in the character now. And the string is an output. Oh! Never mind. Huh. Awesome. Do that again. <laughs> um, hmm. I think I know what the problem is. I think. What is it? Because while I get the sphere radius, I don't think it, uh, it accounts for the scaling factor. Oh, really? Yeah, that's what I think it is. So if I get world transform... No, not transform. Uh, get world scale. Would that be it? Because I don't think it accounts for the scaling. Doesn't account for, I don't think it accounts for the scaling. Okay, so if we do this again, yeah, I gotta like be up there. No! Oh! God damn it! What the hell's block? Oh, it's that plane. Yeah, it's the thing where I played that movie. Okay, so I'm in here. It's not accounting for the scale. I don't think it is. Come on. Ugh! And the thing's not moving. Well, like I said, if you make your character too big, the character movement straight up will not work. But it did before? It did before, but, like, I don't know. Um... Ugh. Jesus, this is such a pain in the ass to do. Well, I can't say you I didn't see it because you did kill the Titan. I did, but like the problem is that things it's just too it doesn't account for the scale. Shit. No! Fuck. If I subtract it from the actual scaling, maybe? Because you can only attack certain... Because that's how hitboxes are supposed to... Well, not hitbox... Well, actually, no, that's how hitboxes are supposed to work. Because I literally did this when we did the headshot collision as well. Oh, yeah, when you, when you did that line trace for that. Yeah. Fuck. Nope. Ugh. God, this is such a fucking... Ugh. Ah! God damn it. Ugh. Well, uh, did he turn? Yes, he did. There we go. Because it does not account for the scaling at all, and you gotta, like, find that sweet spot or whatever. Yeah, see? Ugh. Why do you launch? Oh, it's because of the Thunder Spare. Oh, that thing? Yeah. Like, all that momentum gets stored up, that's why you shoot out. Ow. Yeah, like a bat out of fucking hell. Ugh. God damn it! Dad, you proved your point. I don't think you necessarily need to do it a third time. Fuck you! It's my birthday. I'm gonna do it. Ugh. I'm gonna do a 
a third time. I don't want to do it a third time. Okay, I gotta find a sweet spot. I'm gonna find that sweet spot, goddammit. I'm gonna do it. One last. Yes! 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 Take it. Take it. Fuck you, Titan. You can't beat me. Eat it. You know what? You too. Goddamn stage, you prick. Ha <laughs> ha! Hey everyone, I decided to overdub this part because this part didn't work and I'm gonna have to do that bells and whistles bit for another video while I'm getting the, um, 40k assets. Thank you, narrator. Yes, the 40k assets together. Uh, I might as well just take some time to update everybody on, like, you know, uh, ninjas versus robots and stuff like that. So the demo's coming out today. I'm uploading it today. Um, and, uh, uh, please show your love by downloading it. Uh, once it's download, once, uh, like, I'll have trailers for it as soon as Brit Brit gives me the logo and all the graphics. Um, unfortunately, right now, uh, the video that you'll see, like, it's, the Dev Diary video that you'll see, um, it's not... Like, it's a little more refined, like, the final demo is a little more refined, um, in that the Niagara particle effects actually show, etc., etc. Unless I deleted that video, I'm gonna have to double check that. Um, and what I'm gonna do, like, let's say the, the, the Ninjas vs. Robots demo, it's out, like, right now, right? I'm gonna take two weeks off, uh, or a week, I'm still deciding. Uh, main reason because me, uh, the company, Mad Hen House has a new writer in the form. His name is uh, Kevin. I'm not going to say his last name, but I call him Captain K. Uh, and we're treating off ideas on our um, par one of our parodies that are coming up, coming out not soon-ish, but like uh, later on down the road. It's uh, Super Dragon Documentary GT Kaizi Heroes. It's a parody where the premise is uh, Chi Chi is caught having an affair with Yamcha. And Nappa decides to film like this docu series detailing like the Z fighters, their their relationship statuses, and revealing their darkest secrets. And like Nappa, it's uh, I think he's running for president of Earth because we're making fun of that blue dog president as well. Um, but yeah, uh, so we're gonna be treating off ideas on that because as it stands, that's gonna be our longest parody series. We're planning out I think uh, it's like a ten episode parody thing. And it's going to be the last parody that Manhattan House actually puts out before we start focusing on our original content. Now, bear in mind, um, um, bear in mind, that's, like, let's say uh, uh, Attack on Gossip Episode 3 of 3 shows up, like, tomorrow, right? We're not going to work on Dragon Documentary just yet because we still have to do The Walking Barbecue, uh, a 40K parody that I really want to come out with. Um, uh, two Marvel parodies, because of course, um, and, uh, like a Street Fighter parody, it's called Street Strikers, and, uh, a couple of others that can't, that I can't, that doesn't come to mind just yet, uh, but yeah, so, we're gonna be busy with that, and we have to, like, come up with more and more, um, ideas for a Dragon Documentary, because we really want that, that parody to be perfect. Uh, and in the meantime, like, I'll just do some insane driving development because, yeah, that, um, I haven't touched that in a bit and I really want to get through some of the other level designs. Um, and, uh, yeah, uh, while still, um, developing, like, after the two weeks, I'll go back into Ninjas vs. Robots, head, head, headstrong, you know, I'll take you on, back off, they'll take on anybody. 
Really? I don't. I, it's, it's, it's my birthday. Fuck you. Oh, um, I will say this. Uh, if anybody wants, like, um, I want to say around, like, 7 or 8 o'clock tonight, um, I'm actually going to be playing, uh, Planetside 2, um, because, uh, I, it's my birthday and I want to play that game and I haven't played that game in a bit, so I want to play that game on, for, for my birthday. And if you want to join in, yeah, you're more than welcome to. Gobblecock is my name, that's always been, uh, my thing. Um, and I love Planet Side 2. If any of you haven't played Planet Side 2, give that game a shot, man. Like, that game is fucking awesome. It is still awesome. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Like, that's the only update I, I have left to give. So, like, the company's still gonna be busy, busy, busy. Um, I will try to come out with the bells and whistles for Attack on Titan sometime Friday, maybe? But don't count on it, because, uh, uh, granted, you know, um, uh, it's, uh, like, granted, Ninjas vs. Robots, I'm gonna be taking a break from that. It still doesn't necessarily mean I'm not gonna be busy. I have, like, uh, meetings this week, like a couple Zoom calls, like, I think two of them on Wednesday alone, and this, that, and the other. Um, today I have to have that meeting with Captain K. Tomorrow I'm probably going to talk to Brit Brit, see where she's at with the graphics of Ninjas vs. Robots, because I really need the, that logo so I can actually develop the trailer for it. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm going to check and see if I... I think I deleted that Dev Diary video because I didn't like how it turned out. Um, because one of the weird things is the Niagara particles, for some reason it wasn't visible... When I was playing standalone, but every time I played, like, in editor, it was visible. And then, when I was just all like, alright, screw it, I'll keep that stupid flamethrower particle in there. When I exported, when I packaged it out, and I was doing a test run of it, the Niagara particles all of a sudden showed up. And, um, you might be saying to yourself, wait, Doug, why don't you just, like, delete the packaged files get rid of the flamethrower particles, and then just package it again. I think it took, like, three hours to fucking package. I'm not gonna uh, do that again. Besides, I can hide behind the early access thing, and I'm gonna take full advantage of that. Um, but yeah, uh, um, please show your love by like, comment, and... You know, I really should actually say just like, comment, and subscribe, not ask people to do that. That's what the marketing people told me to do. Um... And, uh, please download, uh, the Ninjas vs. Robots demo. I really should just tell them to do it. Why don't you? I, I don't... I don't know! Anyway, uh, <laughs> Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the Attack on Titan video series. Uh, I really do. Um, please just let me know, um, how you think of it, etc., etc. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm approaching... Oh, yeah, it's like seven minutes and six seconds, so I should, like, probably end this here. So, uh, yeah, end it here, narrator. And there you have